All right, this is going to be a real short one about uh, key bed, the keyframe bedding. This is the keyframe of the pianos and the key, like I, I started to tease this before, the keyframe has to sit there nicely in order for the regulation to stay nice. So this is what the situation is now. This is the way that I received the piano. I haven't touched a thing, any of the... Any of the adjusting, um, what would you call them, parameters, I haven't touched. So theoretically, the keyboard is on there's some sliders in the back, which I don't know if you can see them or not. They are back there. Maybe you can see this one. It's being held down in the back. It's being held down in the front by, there's a little uh, screw with the head cut off of it that sticks into the key block. This is supposed to hold the front down. And then there's some adjusters, some, some brass sliders that get adjusted by these items, these things here, up and down. So it's supported in the front and in the back and in the middle by these things. And you wanna have these set up so that they don't, uh, it, so there's no, um, Mm, nothing untoward happens. So, so anyway, here's the problem. Just, just by investigating, what's happening now is if you can hear this. And I'm trying not to change the amount that I'm doing this, the amount that I'm tapping. But there's a couple of spots that sound different, right? And one of them, let's, let's just look at this one here. So, what I'm learning from that tapping sound is perhaps there's a space in here, and you can verify that by taking this um, newspaper and sliding it in there and say, oh yeah, okay. Now there's a gap from about here to about here. So what can cause that and what should you do about it? Now this is, first of all, this is the way I received, the first thing to remember is this is the way I got the piano, so I haven't done anything to it yet. So one of the things that can cause that is if you put too much pressure on this pin, the cheek block is pushing down on here on this pin and one thing I've seen in the past is if you push too hard on that it's gonna cause a rocking motion where a, a teeter-totter almost is pushing down here it's hitting right here like you can tell the woods hitting here but then it lifts the keyframe here that's something to look out for but there's something simpler to look out for that you first have to that's why this isn't the first place to start. I'm assessing this. I'm learning that that's the point. That's the situation. But if I try to slide this under here, it stops before I get to here. Now what happens is sometimes these get overzealously adjusted downward and it lifts, it lifts this up. If you screw down on this, there's a pressure point underneath that raises this up. Now if you've done that too much, you're gonna lift it up from here. So. So, okay, so I don't know why I'm showing this, but the first thing to do is to raise these up so that they're out of the equation and then just investigate what's going on here and down here. Up, so, again, I, I, this is kind of a murder mystery without the murder part of it, and I, I like doing this kind of stuff. I don't do it often, so if I, if I do or say something really stupid, it's because I, I don't do this every day. I did this in the beginning of when I started working on pianos and it's fascinating to me, but so the first thing I'm going to do is lift those glides. These are, I don't know if they're called glides or not, but they're brass little pads underneath and they get, I'm going to lift those up and see if that brings this down, in which case I'm not going to worry about it. If it doesn't solve this, I'm going to look at the wood of this keyframe and see if it's warped. And I'm going to look at the wood on the key bed and see if that's changed, if that's, uh, if there's some kind of 
Um, if that's the reason for the gap there, hopefully not, because those things are more serious to address, and it involves taking wood off of this. I mean, you, I've had situations where I've had to take, it's hitting here, but I've had to take the wood off here so that there's a gap now from here to here. But that gets solved by just lowering this, which presses the keyboard down in this spot from here to here. But that's also dangerous because it's tricky and dangerous because if you don't get that perfectly right, you can open up another can of worms. So hopefully what's gonna happen is I'm gonna raise these things up and those gaps are gonna disappear and we'll be back to square zero.